Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Zane, and today we'll be looking at the smart car number one. Now, it's an adorable new SUV, it's an electric SUV, but unfortunately, this vehicle will not be available in America. That's despite being the fact that in the US, these type of vehicles will be actually quite popular. The smart brand has already pulled out of the US. And I think this is quite unfortunate because the smart car brand, they're embarking on electrifications at a huge rate because they're owned by Daimler Mercedes. And Mercedes is also investing heavily into electrification. But here's the big news. Mercedes killed off its smart brand in the US in 2019. After 11 years of selling, but the brand has lived on in Europe and other markets and now they're an electric brand only. Now Smart has finally expanded its product line with brands such as SUV, which to be quite frank with you, would be extremely popular in the US because people in the US, they don't really like small cars. They like big cars, SUV, trucks, those sort of stuff. Now the preview of the concept was actually shown off last year in Munich Auto Show. It was called the number one, which is literally pronounced as hashtag one. The compact SUV is actually super adorable and is compelling. The number one is really close in design to last year's concept, but the production spec detail makes it looks even better. At 168.1 inches long, the number one is a couple of inches longer than a Kia Soul and it's about an inch and a half taller. It has triangular LED headlights with a center light bar connecting them. This center light bar on the rear of cars are really becoming quite popular, especially with Mercedes vehicles, all these, especially EV vehicles. Now it does have a really smooth body surface with flush door handles and a contrasting float roof tail lights that echoes the highlighted design. Smart will build 1000 launch edition models that gets gold accent on the interior trim and dashboard and a rad checkerboard motif on the three spoke wheels, seats and panoramic sunroof. Now on the inside, the number one has tall floating center console with a bunch of storage compartments. The fascinating thing is that the interior of this vehicle is heavily inspired by Mercedes cars. This includes everything from the dashboard to the steering wheel. And the most significant familiar features will be the air vents. This isn't that surprising because Mercedes do own this brand fully. There is a super slim 9.2 inches screen that sits in the front of the driver and is augmented by a 10 inch heads up display. And there is a freestanding 12.8 inches touchscreen in the center of the dash that uses a new infotainment system with AI based voice control. The rear bench seats slides and reclines and the number one looks have a good amount of cargo space. The car will feature over the air updates, phone S key compatible and a number of driver assistance systems like adaptive cruise control and lane assist. Let me just say, for my personal opinion, I love everything about this car and I love everything about what the smart company is doing right now because they're going fully electric, which I think strategically it's an extremely smart strategy by Mercedes. Of course, I completely agree with this business decision and this business move because it makes complete sense. If you own a secondary car company, one of your car companies need to go fully electric. This opens the door to experiment with multiple different ideas and design and to test out how the market responds. Mercedes is doing just that with the smart car number one. Now, instead of riding on a Mercedes platform, the number one uses Chinese automaker Geely's SEA electric architecture. Now, the interesting thing is that I've got huge respect for Mercedes using Geely technology. Geely does own Volvo and Polestar, and Volvo is known for having some of the most safest cars in the world. And once again, Geely is proven to be a great business partner in EV manufacturing and in vehicle manufacturing. Now this vehicle has a 66 kilowatts per hour battery pack with a single electric motor powering the rear wheels that puts out 268 horsepower and 253 pound feet of torque. Smart says that the number one has a max range of 273 miles on the European WLTP cycle. And apparently it can charge from 10% to 80% in under 30 minutes on a DC fast charger. Smart didn't reveal any performance figures yet beyond it's at a top speed of 112 miles per hour. But even despite the number one's 412 pound curb weight, 
it should hit 60 miles per hour quicker than a previous smart car. Unfortunately, they didn't give us any specific numbers on the 0 to 60, but I have confidence that this car is not really focused on speed, this car is more focused on safety. The mini cars have always been more focused on being as optimal as possible. So the number one will be built in China as part of the smart brand joint venture with Geely and it will go and sell in Europe by the end of 2022. While we don't know how much smart features plans, while we don't know much about smart's future plans, the number one is a preview of what to expect from the brand's next model in terms of design and technology. And I'm actually quite excited. I love the design of the vehicle, interior and exterior, and I love that they're going 100% electric. I also love that they're building this vehicle with a joint venture with Geely in China. This has proven that Geely can focus on multiple vehicle manufacturing all at once. Not just Geely themselves, but they can focus on Volvo, Polestar, and apparently helping Smart to build their new number one vehicle. Overall, this increases my confidence in Geely as a brand. It increases my confidence in Smarts as well. It also increases my confidence in Mercedes. I like the direction that they're taking this company. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching until the end. Remember to hit that subscribe button, leave a like. Feel free to share this video if you found it entertaining and, and leave a comment if you have any questions. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.